Hey beauties and bows, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jennifer of Custom Chic, and if you're new here, let me be the first to welcome you. My channel focuses on fashion, travel, and just overall lifestyle. So if that is the kind of content you are into, then I would definitely encourage you to subscribe, share, like, hit that bell notification so you do not miss an upload. I upload videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. And if you also don't do so already, make sure you follow me on Instagram. My handle is customs underscore chic. And today's video is all about my spring, probably going into summer 2022 designer sunglass collection designer, luxury, all of the buzzwords that all of the girls love to hear, but I feel like I've amassed. <laughs> Actually, I have a collection of sunglasses, but most recently I definitely picked up some newer pairs and I wanted to bring it to you all first in a collective haul, make it nice and pretty. You've probably seen me wear the first pair that I'm gonna show you guys right now, and these are the Fendi Havana sunglasses and they are in the brown tortoise shell. It's not really tortoise shell, it's really just the Fendi design is in that brown color. And y'all, it's a cat eye and I absolutely love. I'm going to move closer to the camera so that you guys can get a better view of the glasses. I absolutely love these. Um, I always wasn't sure about cat eye sunglasses, especially for my frame, but I definitely now can appreciate them a lot more. Um, not because they're luxury, not because they're designer, but just the way that they fit my frame, right? Like. Your girl looks good. Like there, <laughs> there's just absolutely no denying it, right? Sorry, I'm gonna move these up so that you guys can see the absolute detail on these. So it's a cat eye, you can see that. And then on the side, so on the stem of the glasses, it has this Fendi insignia right here. And then this cool little detail at the bottom where it's kind of like rounded off. And then again, there is the Fendi sign. Let me move that in so you guys can see that. Is that showing up for you? Uh, sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't oh there it is I think you can see it but it's the same Fendi insignia that they have on the stem that are here also um actually these were gifted to me thank you um go they actually ow ow I definitely just hurt myself. I didn't want to do that. Um, these were gifted to me, but I absolutely love them. They are part of my collection now. I also like them for spring and summer 2022 because they're lightweight. Um, they come in this super cute little box that I've actually traveled with um, most recently to Key West. And I can hold a lot of stuff in here. If I'm not traveling with it, it's not one of those things that compacts. Um, because it'll kind of mess it up. But I can add little earrings inside. And of course, it has, you know, um, the the wipe and then it's the regular Fendi, you know, um, authentication card. But I absolutely love these. These are more lightweight. These are probably a little bit more classic. That's for, you know, people who don't want too much but just want a little va va boom. And I say that because, you know, it, it does get very logo ish on the stem and at the bottom you can't tell. But let's say my hair was up in a bun or if I was at the beach or something like that, then you could definitely tell this was Fendi because of the sides <laughs> and then um but if you have to be like really close up to the person to determine or to see that there's fendi like on the rim of the glasses so it's the tortoise shell type right and you can see fendi at the top but you have to be really really close to the person to know that otherwise if you are just familiar with the brand and familiar with their insignia you can tell right here who made these glasses but i love them they're super lightweight easy to travel with easy to clean i actually am a fan of gold hardware these also come in the silver hardware and i will put this down in the description box so that you guys can find it um they are fairly inexpensive and i only say that relative to a couple of other pairs of sunglasses that i'm going to show you guys that were not gifted to me i went into sunglass hut and had a ball um it was like i was feeling very spendy that day and i just thought why not um i just came from a did i come from four hour radiation that day it wasn't that day no but it was it was just one of those days and i was feeling spendy and i thought why not splurge on myself and obviously i was i had a lack in my sunglass collection so i figured now is the time to fill it so let's go to the next pair one of my favorite pairs of sunglasses is this pair of Miu Miu that I picked up in Croatia almost like eight years ago. And y'all, these are classic. I love everything about them. When I saw them, we were walking in Old Dubrovnik. Yes, if you are a Game of Thrones fan, you know that is the King's Landing of Game of Thrones. And I picked these up and I absolutely fell in love with them. I use these glasses so much that when I say cost per wear, I want to say they probably cost me like 
$350 to $400 at the time. And I've worn them about 375, 50, 400 times, okay? Like I've definitely worn every single dollar of this purchase. So I am a fan of Miu Miu when it comes to sunglasses or eyewear. Um, I think they do a phenom phenomenal job. Not only that, they have a really good lasting power. Like these glasses are probably like seven to eight years old and the stemware on it is still fine. Like the frames are still fine. Obviously I have to clean them all the time. Well, not all the time, but whenever I wear them, but you should be doing that with your sunglasses anyway. So this is, you know, this is not like a novel idea. Um, I like the wide brim. I like the, just everything about them. And I especially love kind of like this gradient ombre pink to white. Like it's kind of like a rose to white. Love them. Every time I wear these glasses, they are absolutely comfortable and I get endless compliments. Um, the case also lasts really, really well. So when I was shopping for my designer luxury sunglasses for spring 2022 and I came across this pair of Miu Miu glasses, I was like, your girl's gotta have them. Packaging is very simple. It is a rose rectangular box with just the Miu Miu writing on it. Obviously you guys see that. Um, and the case, oops, um, it also comes with a dust bag, which I actually appreciate. It's like, it's real, it's like crushed velvet-ish, but it's very comfortable and it is, it does actually protect your sunglasses. Um, it also comes with the wipe, but what I love about them is, um, this brand knows what they're doing, so they haven't necessarily, let me grab this. This is my old pair. This is the new pair. They haven't done anything to the packaging because you know what, when it works, it works and you don't really have to change much. So let me show y'all the pair that I just picked up. And this is part of the Mew Mew Core Collection. And I'll give you guys the specs on these and they have a tortoise shell. So it is a metal, um, what do we call this? It's a metal thing. Um, but they have the tortoise shell here at the end, which I absolutely love. And it is a gold, but it's a matted gold, um, um what am i calling it oh, let's hold on before we go there let's go here look at this stunning these are stunning they're not really cat eye they're more sort of a rectangular but they're like 2d like you can see there's some spacing there just a little bit of a dazzling there's like that mew mew insignia right there on the top so they're like they're over like they're like pow pow um, but they're not overstating anything, right? Like they're not too much. It's giving me a little bit of like, you know, Woodstock 70s, but like real chic, like super, again, light. I don't know what it is about the tortoise shell. Um, it's drawing me in. My last pair, <laughs> the Fendi pairs also had a little tortoise shell on the end of the stem, but I absolutely love these and I cannot wait to wear them all spring and summer 2022. Do you like these? Do we like the first original pair? Do we like the Fendi's? Which ones do you guys like? Because the next two are about to be like, where does this girl think she's going? <laughs> Outside. Okay, cool. We got all this blue on and I think it's a perfect segue to show you guys the new pair of glasses that I picked up from none other than Versace. Let me, before we go there, do y'all remember that stunning um, palm tree sheer, mm, goddess of a gown that j-lo wore back in the days when she was da dating um diddy puff daddy love whatever it is that we're calling him these days yes you remember if you don't i'm gonna put the dress up right here so that you guys can see well versace came out and re-released a bunch of kind of like its inspirations from the 90s and i picked up this stunning pair from Versace actually I bought it it's it's Versace but um I did buy it at the sunglass hut and these are called the trop the palm print oh, tropical look at this so it's got the Versace insignia right here and then it's the black mm, lenses kind of a wide brim but not necessarily but they are giving a very much Miami very much it's, it's very summer I understand that this is spring, but granted, like, I'm doing this <laughs> for spring and summer. I don't anticipate buying any more sunglasses for 2022. I say that now because I'm being hopeful, but if I do, don't judge me, but I absolutely love these. I mean, like, these scream vacation, these scream resort wear. I love the fact that it's got, like, these greens and, you know, you can see the insignia. So they're, they're kind of extra, but, like, not really. Like, if I was sitting across from you, like, would you recognize these glasses? 
for sure for sure Ooh, i'm looking over here at my felicity bag that i picked up from a vendor on um instagram please hold because it brings my entire outfit together like entire i may need to even shoot this look please hold it do you see it <laughs> like do you do but do but do you see it come on now this is like the girls the girls would love this i absolutely love this look so anyway these glasses are great um they're lightweight i love the packaging it's just the regular versace packaging it comes in um this black box y'all nothing to scream home about right like we're not going to do unboxings about boxes for sunglasses because they just are what they are they have the authentication card here you know how to take care of them and then they have the wipe that you need actually let me put these in here because sometimes i'm really bad about taking care of my sunglasses but i'm excited about these they remind me of the gucci pair that was like sort of thick i also have a pair i don't know where they are right now i mean i do but that's <laughs> that's not what today's video is about it's not about the old glasses it's about what's newly in but i'm super excited about these and i'm even more excited that i just like literally while we're talking created a look that i can shoot in for spring 2022 so obviously this was a great purchase and now let's get to the one that's probably the ones that i'm most excited about because they're probably the most gaudy i am my father's daughter yes i figured that i would just start the video with the glasses because i mean they speak for themselves <laughs> So these are the Versace Baroque glasses in red. They actually also come in a white. I was contemplating, I was going back and forth between the red and the white, but I'm gonna be really honest with y'all. The red spoke to me. The red is much more of a statement. The, the red is more va va voom out there. And besides, um, I already have my eye on another pair of sunglasses that are white for spring, summer 2022. So I just thought, don't do the most but these are the aviator type sunglasses and they're actually really lightweight um talk about being extra like i mean if you can't tell these are versace like inspired <laughs> like what are you doing but these are absolutely stunning and what i really love about these is if you don't want to be that extra this is removable so it snaps off um i would probably never snap them off i probably will always wear them like this because um it just gives that a little bit more right um all right let's get this back on okay here we go um and just i mean come on like where are we not going in these you know like just where are we not going just, they're stunning they're absolutely stunning lightweight all of them are lightweight all of the glasses that i picked up are lightweight so i'm super excited about them i have four pairs of sunglasses that should take me through spring and summer of 2022 and then you know i have all of my old ones that i can always add into rotation but i'm super excited about these i'm super excited to style these and these are a conversation starter or an icebreaker if i do say so myself right like i can't stop doing all the turning it's not because i don't want because i'm trying to show y'all like all the extraness about it because you can't miss it right like you you just can't miss these i'm just i'm in love so let me know y'all like what was your favorite pair was it these you know red versace i absolutely love them yes i know they're extra but i tend to be extra sometimes like when i really put my mind to it <laughs> like when i really put my mind to it i could be i i could be that girl who's really extra so tell me which ones are your favorites is it the red versace is it the palm tropical print pair these are so good too right like oh these are good i love these love these i'm equally excited about all of the glasses that i showed you guys today but i mean for different reasons right obviously i'll be able to wear them throughout i live in what warm and warmer weather or warm and rainy weather so for me in florida i usually can get my bang for my buck but super excited about these so is it so far the red the palm print or is it the cat eye these are the mew mew that are a little bit more understated even though they have a little bling you know around the rim these look good though right like so far tell me what you think is your favorite in the comments or is it the fendi that somewhat has the tortoiseshell on the top i will say these are the most understated out of the four 
right that I've gotten um, for this luxury designer sunglass haul for 2022 spring season but I love them nonetheless I mean they're they're still fancy they're still fancy and I love them so if you stuck around this long you definitely know what to do make sure to like share subscribe hit that bell notification so you do not miss an upload I upload every Wednesday and every Sunday I appreciate y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all next time